When you're new to tarot, there are just so many things to learn. And one of the very first things to get a handle on is the difference between the major arcana and the minors, and how you read them differently during a tarot reading. Today's Q&A question comes from one of my tarot card mastery program students, Richard. Richard was a total tarot beginner when he started the program, and this was one of the first questions he asked, which I thought was just a perfect for a quick Q&A answer. So here goes. His question was, what is the difference between the major arcana and the minor arcana, and do you read them differently? So thank you, Richard. This is such a great question because it seems like basic info, something that everybody already knows, but is actually too embarrassed to ask which is really why I'm glad you actually asked it. So thank you. And it might seem like a basic question, but the answer is very important and it makes reading the cards so much easier. Reading tarot cards is ultimately about learning to trust your intuition, knowing the similarities and the differences between the major and the minor arcana can increase your confidence when connecting the meaning to the cards that you read, and it can help you give weight to your readings. Hi, I'm Angie from The Simple Tarot, and here at The Simple Tarot, we are all about helping you to read the cards with clarity and confidence. And one of the things you need to understand to get that clarity is the difference between the majors and the minors. So, what are the major arcana? How are they different from the minor arcana? And how do you read them separately or together when they're in a tarot spread? The major and the minor arcana are two groups of cards that make up a standard tarot deck. So in the traditional Rider-Waite-Smith deck, 22 of the 78 cards are called major arcana cards often called just the majors, and then the remaining 56 cards consist of the minor arcana, which is also called the minors, or sometimes the pip cards, P-I-P, pip. The suit cards of those minors are divided into four suits, just like a deck of playing cards is. You have the cups, the pentacles, sometimes called coins, the swords, and the wands. Each of these suits is then divided into number cards and people cards. The number cards go from ace to 10, and the people cards, called the court cards, include the page, knight, queen, and king. Sometimes those court cards might have different names like princess or mother, father, daughter, son, but then you always get four people cards and 10 number cards for each of the four suits. So that is like true basics of how a deck is organized, but let's go a little deeper. The 22 cards of the major arcana represent our journey through life as we mature from the wide-eyed, enthusiastic fool to the final card, the world card. And this world card illustrates the completion and accomplishment of a cycle, and it can reassure you that all of the hard work you've put into something has been successful. So our journey through the major arcana is marked by hardships and challenges that allow us to learn, grow, and find happiness in ourselves. The major cards help us understand our own tendencies by tapping into how we respond to the events of life. They represent major life lessons, major archetypes, and major events in our lives. Understanding how the major arcana tarot cards impact a tarot reading can uncover your core beliefs about yourself and how you tackle these problems. The major arcana cards will always relate to the big, major moments of life, those events that transform us and really change our path. When major arcana cards show up in a reading, take the opportunity to reflect on your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions have impacted the way you're handling this big life's challenge. Come to terms with the choices you've made and then let these cards guide you toward exploring your next big life changes and choices. Unlike the majors, which are major, the minor arcana represent smaller stories, minor events, people in your life. The minor cards help you understand how your actions, thoughts, and beliefs are guiding you on a day-to-day -day basis. 
The minor arcana, like I said, consists of two types of cards, the numbered suit cards and then the court cards or those people cards. The four suits in the tarot deck are the cups, the pentacles, the swords, and the wands. And each of these relates to an elemental energy. Cups is water, pentacles is earth, swords is air, and wands are fire. There are 10 numbered cards, one through 10, although the number one is often called the ace. So you have ace through 10, and each suit also has four court cards. Like I said, page, knight, queen, and king. So you have 14 cards in each suit, and then you have four suits. In a reading, the minor arcana will show you ideas, options, possibilities, and areas to explore. And these will be events and lessons in your life in a more day-to-day -day manner or small minor stories. Remember, the major arcana are about major life events, major choices, and the minor arcana are more minor. As long as you keep this difference in mind when you're reading your cards, you'll be able to give your weight and importance to your tarot readings when it's due. If you see minor and majors mixed up together in a tarot spread, you'll want to give more weight, usually, to those major arcana cards than you do the minors. Sometimes the minors are ways to accomplish, like minor ways to get to the result that the major arcana card is showing you. Really, just keep the major versus minor in, in mind and you'll have a really strong foundation of how to separate those cards and read them together. And remember, there's no right way or wrong way to read tarot cards. There's only your way. So take this information and make it your own. If you are struggling with learning and remembering the tarot card meanings, check out our free one-page tarot cheat sheet. It has the keywords and traditional meanings of each of the cards and can be used with any Rider Waite Smith based tarot deck. And of course, it's got the majors and the minors on it. And now I am gonna send you to this next video right here, which is one of my most popular videos. And it goes over each of the major arcana cards, the big ones, one by one, meeting them as they can one continuous story arc. So I will see you over there.